couldn't find any smart people glasses. So these are the closest ones. <laughs> Prop comedy. So funny. Random equals funny, right guys? Anyway, from the title, you could tell from the title of this video that I probably sent you, I will be reviewing and revealing my favorite quote from John Steinbeck's In Dubious Battle, 1936. This is a copy I got from the library because, you know, I'm not about buying books for Miss Lynch's class. Also, go to the library. We love the library. It's actually so, so, a so, socialist thing. I meant to say system, but I said thing. And I think it's beautiful that America that hates socialism and communism has a very prominent socialist system within all aspects of every little county, town, state, every single one of them. Go to New York. The New York Public Library, it's beautiful. And it's socialist. Think about that. Anyway, talking about socialism, John Steinbeck's In Dubious Battle. It's about two Communist Party labor organizers who incite a strike in the fictional Torgus Valley for a bunch of apple pickers, and they want it to spread to cotton pickers of the area because they want everyone to be on strike so then they can implement communism. This is They're the people that the Red Scare wanted us to fear. That's all I'm going to say, period. Anyway, um... I thought it was a good book. It was really realistic. The more I read about it, the more I liked it. Um, there were some parts of it that were kind of boring, but that's how any book is, really. I don't think I've ever read a book that I enjoyed every single page of. Like, there's obviously some chapters, some paragraphs, some sections where you are just not that pleased with the writing or the content or really just the scene. Sometimes writers just have an off scene. I mean, I don't think there's a perfect book. There's no perfect writer. That being said, John Steinbeck is a pretty good writer. His reading, his reading, his writing is very easy to read. And if you want a substantial book, like a book that has a lot of good material in it, for a very short reading time, I would suggest John Steinbeck. He talked about a lot of contemporary issues of like contemporary meaning like 1930s and 40s issues. But also, they apply now. I mean, of course, the workers' issues that we have still do involve a lot of migrant workers or, like, labor workers, obviously. I mean, we all know that California isn't perfect, especially in how it treats its labor workers. And I, don't, I wouldn't blame California, the state. I would blame the people who abuse the undocumented workers... Anyway, we also have issues of Amazon, etc. There's a lot of worker-related issues that we could talk about of the modern day. And I think looking back at John Steinbeck's, John Steinbeck's work, we're really able to appreciate the points he made then. Because he made some points. They still apply today. And I think that's really cool. Um, if I were to rate this out of 100, I'd probably give it like... An 85. I know that's not like an acceptable grade for me in Asian, but I'm pretty sure John Steinbeck was Jewish. That's not a good argument. It's it's not my favorite book, but it's not my least favorite book. Um, my least favorite book that I was able to read all the way through, I would probably give like a 45. And that's, I had to read it because of school. So when you compare the 45 to the 85, I think most books I read probably would be between the 70 and 80, like, range. So the fact that this is at the upper end shows you how much I like it. My favorite books would probably be near 100. I don't think any book could reach 100. That's just how it is. Now we got that out of the way. I don't really know what else to say about this book. I don't really know how to summarize books. It was about communist organizers. I think the ending was really funny. I'm not going to spoil the ending on here just in case one of the three people I send it to decide to read this book because they're, they are so bored at home because of corona that they will 
take a book recommendation from me. I have better recommendations if you want them. This is a pretty good book, though. It's really easy to read. I think, honestly, if you really, like, were grinding, you could finish this book in a day. It's kind of a lot to finish in a day. I wouldn't want you to finish it in a day just because of, like, the concepts in it. Honestly, during this book, I went to Google and went on tangents of re researching things just because it was so researchable. It was mainly the communism stuff. But yeah, anyway, this is a good book. It gets a most thumbs up. I might post more book reviews. And now I'm going to read my favorite quote. Maybe I'll make this a series. I don't know how many books I'm going to read, so it's going to be really hard to make it a series but we'll we'll see how corona pans out anyway here's my favorite quote this was mac in relation to the people of torgus valley the labor workers of torgus valley i never saw such a bunch of bags as this crowd he said the only decent one in camp is 13 years old i'll admit she's got an 18 year old can <laughs> but i'm doing no 50 years you're, that's, yep, yep, I don't think I need to, he really said, she's cute, but she's illegal, like, if this is not the sentiment that, like, so many 20-somethings come onto TikTok thinking, I don't know, I don't know what is, they're like, wow, she's 13 years old, but she looks like an 18-year-old, but I'm not doing time, I'm not gonna catch a case. I mean, his mind. John Steinbeck's mind to come up with that. I have no words. Head empty. And with that...